both need to know who has the edge in the series right now between the Boston Celtics and the Miami Heat. So, Coach, coming to you first, who do you feel like has the edge? So many injuries. Tyler Hero, we don't know if he's going to play, has the groin situation. We can just go down the list of so many players. Yeah, everybody's hurt for both teams. Who has the edge? I'm going to say Boston for this reason. They still have two of the best out of the three players in this series left. When you look at Tatum and Brown, against I mean, Jimmy Butler, he's been playing great. But those two guys can go out and get 30. And then when you look at Miami, Greg, they struggle to score at times. And, I, and this is the thing that blows my mind. In the regular season, we talk about guys being a great defender and this and that. But come playoff time in certain games, I need that defender to play some offense too. And for me, this game, the next game coming up, they need Bam to show up offensively big time. I mean, he's been great defensively, rebounding, been that guy. But with Jimmy Butler – nicked up. Tyler Hero, status uncertain, and Kyle Lowry is shell of himself. They need some scoring, but I get an edge to Boston because of those two guys even though they got some injuries. Yeah, Tatum is, is special, and Jalen Brown has had some moments in this series that, that have been incredible as well. Um, I, I look at it this way. I, I feel like the team that just got blown out has the advantage. <laughs> and I mean that sincerely because when you get embarrassed, you don't need to be motivated. You know, the, the coach doesn't have to talk a lot about the X's and O's because that, that was more about your pride and your inability to compete. And so I, I would expect for the next game hmm. that Miami will respond in kind. And, so, and I just think that gives them – it's now the one advantage Boston has other than what Coach just talked about is even though they won the game, they won the game the way we used to win games. I used to tell you, I said, we could beat a team by 20 and shoot 39 from Y'all the field. could. <laughs> Because we're going to turn you over, we're going to turn you over, and we're going to dominate the backboard, and we're going to win the possession game. And so, like, that's the positive for Boston in terms of the coaching staff because they can say, guys, offensively, we actually weren't very good yeah. in that game. You know, they, they weren't not good. J- Jalen Brown's 5 of 20 from the floor. They shot 39% from the field, 23 from three, and still won the game by 20. Now, they were plus 24 at the free throw line. I don't think they're going to be plus 24 at the free throw line in the next game in Miami. And so I'd give Miami the slight edge in that regard because of them being embarrassed in that last game. And then at that point, then it'll get interesting. I'm just hoping we finally get a close game, get get one game where we're in the fourth quarter wondering what the outcome is going to be because for the most part, that has not been the case. Yeah, I think this game five is going to be close because everyone knows 82% of the time. Whoever wins that game five is going to go on to represent that. that but, but, Coach, I need to know, the Heat offensively, they were really bad, especially the starters. Victor Oladipo, great game. However, the starters, you heard 18 points. That's the lowest since the merger back in the day when they had the red, white, and ball, and they merged the <laughs> leagues together. Who's going to step up for the Miami Heat? got to be Bam, man. It, it, it's got to be. He's their second-best overall player when you look at this team. He's paid that way. He's a max player on this team. He's an all-star caliber player. And look, for all the talk we give him, all the credit for the defense, the rebound, and being able to switch, keep guards in front. But, yeah, I'll tell you, hey, man, come playoff time, sometimes I need that util- Swiss utility knife guy to score. And they're going to need him in that game five at home. You don't know how Jimmy Butler's going to feel. You don't know if Tyler Hero is going to be available. You see how Kyle Lowry is trying to come back from injuries. They need him to step up and play big offensively. Look, defense is great, and it wins championships, but every now and then, G.A., yeah. I need some buckets. Yeah, there, there's no doubt about it. I, I, I feel like the Jimmy and Kyle have to not just play better in terms of their scoring. They've got to create better opportunities for their teammates, for guys like Strews. Uh, Gabe Vincent can kind of create his own shot, but I think the, the big key for them is going to be can they get Struz going 0 for 7 in that last game? And will we finally see Duncan Robinson emerge somewhat? Because he's another guy that, again, not that they're going to go get 25, but if they're getting 10, 12 from each of those guys, that changes the whole dynamic of how you have to guard Miami right now. And that's. 